Hi everyone, so today we're here in beautiful Spain, about to have our daily swim. So I wanted to touch base, quite a few people have contacted me asking how I do wild swimming, where I do wild swimming, what are the benefits, you know, is it safe? Um, so I would love to start a group where I take people around the world wild swimming, uh, that's something for the future. Um, and we do do this on my rewilding retreats, so really way, really great way of starting doing wild swimming if you're not confident about it, is to do it with other people. So, but wild swimming isn't just about uh, the, the wildness and the swimming, there's also the element of the cold water therapy. So, I've done wild swimming in places like Dominican Republic and Mexico, and as wonderful as it is, you don't get the added benefit of the cold water therapy. So here in Spain, it's nowhere near as cold as in the UK when we do it in the winter and all through the year. Sean and I swim in the sea, in the lakes, in the rivers. But here it's about 14 degrees in the water. So cold enough for you to get a benefit and you can actually stay in a bit longer. So what are some of the benefits of cold water swimming? I started doing this years and years ago, way before Wim Hof, or not before he started doing it perhaps, but before it became popular, and people used to say I was crazy, it was dangerous, what was I doing, I was going to get toxified by the water I was in, and whilst all those are very valid concerns, um, the benefits certainly outweigh those things, there are ways of making sure that you're not falling into that, those, those problems, and, and look at the benefits. So some of the benefits of being in cold water is that it improves your circulation, it improves the lymphatic circulation. There's a lot of people nowadays dealing with chronic illnesses like myself and, and chronic inflammation and um, cold water therapy is brilliant for bringing down inflammation. It improves your hair, your skin and your nails quality. It helps lower blood pressure, so if you're suffering with high blood pressure this can really help. And it's a really, really great way to calm the nervous system. So this is one of the massive benefits for me when you go in cold water, whether you're in the sea, you're in a cold shower, you're in an ice bath, you, your body goes into like a, sh like a shock. So your parasympathetic nervous system goes off. Now, before, before you think, oh my God, isn't that the opposite of what we want? Yes, it is. But because you're then in a sense of calm with your breathing and you're not under a threat, your body recalibrates and then you go it back into parasympathetic nervous system. So it kind of gives you like a jump start. So I've been suffering with staying in chronic fight or flight through mold toxicity, uh, hormonal stuff going on and past trauma. And whilst I'm dealing with those deeper underlying things, I find cold water therapy a really, really great way of soothing my nervous system. And that I know sounds bonkers. A lot of people are like, what are you going on about? It's freezing, doesn't that shock you? It does when you get in, but it's the after effect that brings your nervous system down into that rest and digest. So, when you're getting in the cold, another really great benefit of this is the mental fortitude. And nobody, I don't think people talk about this enough. A lot of people talk about the physical benefits, being your skin, quality, the fact that it brings your blood pressure down, it's helping you regulate your temperature. So it's great if you're having hot flushes. I was having a period of time when I was absolutely mental with hot flushes and getting in the cold water really helped. But mentally, that step over Am I actually going to get in? I'm going to take my robe off and I'm going to get in the cold, especially if it's cold outside. It gives you that sense of being able to step into things that are uncomfortable in your life that you know are good for you. So this works emotionally. It gives you that real strength to be able to, to go into things that are perhaps not what are, are not your comfort zone. And living in a comfort zone is like the killer of everything. Don't they say that's the killer of creativity and your dreams and everything? We all like to be comfortable, and whilst being comfortable and safe is fabulous, in our life, our growth happens outside of that. So, well, ways of getting this cold water therapy is like this, get in the sea, a lake, a river, obviously check currents and things. So, we've been swimming here at the beginning when it was huge big waves and we weren't going in deep. You know your strengths, and if you're not confident, as I said, swim with someone. I do this in the UK, so if people want to join me, Come and join me there are also groups around um, the other way is to get an ice bath so you can get one of those you can even just use a big water butt but getting in an ice bath filling it with water and having that kind of shocking therapy obviously a lot of people aren't going to do that but it's one way of doing it something i'm looking into doing at home 
when I can't get to the river and lakes and the sea. And the last one is cold showers. So have your shower, turn it on to cold for 30 seconds to start with. I know it's freezing, but really just try and get immersed. You can even do a cold bath. You don't have to go fancy with an ice bath. Cold bath is great. And you just, you'll notice the benefits. Even if you just try it for a couple of weeks, give it time, you will notice the benefits. So without further ado, this sea has calmed down loads now and we are absolutely loving coming here every morning or lunchtime as it is now to just freshen off, get in the sea and I want to say the best way to do it if you're going to go in the sea or a lake or the river is get in quickly. <laughs> so if you can, this is great, it's got a big shelf so you step right down into the water but get in. I've seen people in the beaches in the UK and they start by just getting their legs in and they do you know what they never get in because your legs are gonna do the whole cold thing themselves and just shocks it feels the pain yeah and it shocks your body but you're not getting that immersion you're not breathing and you're probably not gonna get in so just get in as quick as you can so I hope you enjoyed this video I absolutely love wild swimming cold water therapy as well obviously wild swimming if you're in a hot country like it's got its own benefits being immersed in mother nature and all this blue is just wild so wherever you are and however you do cold water therapy or wild swimming please do share your comments ask any questions get in touch if you want some more information and just enjoy like this is what life's about we should be in nature as much as we can and for me this is the most important part where I'm looking to live in the future is to be able to get regularly into the sea. This is the most important part of my day, as well as meditation. Just absolutely changes the way I feel, the way I think, everything. I just absolutely love it. So I hope you can enjoy it too. All right, take care. And I'm not gonna speak anymore because you won't be able to hear me over the waves, but I'm gonna let you come in and see what it's all about. So, we are post-swim. It was absolutely gorgeous. I can't talk to you down there. I would love to remember the GoPro sometime so we could actually talk to you while we're in the sea. You could hear my, uh, I don't know, exuberant joy, I think you would call it. So, I wanted to quickly talk about um, some tips. I don't know where my brain is today. So, number one would be having a robe of some sort. So we've got towel robes and dry robes. Now the towel robes are great if you're coming away on holiday because they're not as heavy as a dry robe. Dry robes are much better for uh, really cold. So when we swim in the winter at home in the UK, you need a dry robe or something like that. You need to get warm quickly. So um, when you come out, you're getting warm, you're getting your wet stuff off, you're getting dry and you're getting warm straight away. Another really great thing is to have like a flask of tea. It's not as bad here because the temperature's like 20 degrees in the air, so you feel cold, but you're not going to freeze. When we do it in the UK, your, your, your core basically is locked down in temperature, and you're going to start to really notice that. So you can feel really, really energetic after, but then it's going to drop down. So you want to be warm for that. So a flask of tea or hot soup or something like that. Get that in you, and a hot water bottle as well. Another tip is when I swim in the UK, so when it's super cold, I swim with a beanie hat on. That's a really, really great tip that I got from my friend Brian. So thank you for that, Brian. Um, I do it all the time now and it really, really makes a difference. Um, tip number three is, well, four or wherever we are, wet shoot, wetsuit shoes. These are amazing. These have made such a difference. So in the UK, keeping your feet warm. Here, the, the beach is a little bit rocky, so it means you can just get in without worrying about that. Really great for gripping lakes and things like that as well. I know a lot of uh, the women that come on my rewilding retreats really benefited from the, the wetsuit shoes that I advised them to bring. So, um, also just know your limits. So not, not in a kind of scary fear way, 
but if you're new to this, don't stay in long. The point isn't to try and be a hero and stay in for 20 minutes. In the UK, I'll stay in a few minutes. You know, we're doing like five minutes, but we've been doing it for a long time. So sometimes 10 minutes, sometimes 20. Um, here, we're doing a lot longer, but again, we know what we're doing. We've been doing this for years. Um, so I can feel when I need to get out, and so can Sean. If you're not sure, just do it for a couple of minutes. In the cold, in the really cold, if you're swimming in the winter in the UK, I advise you to just do a minute. But you want to get that immersion. And what I do is I get I get it so that I can really feel my hands have stopped being like really, really cold. And you know then that your body's doing that restrictive thing. And then I get out. So just be, be aware of that and ask if you're not sure. So what I love about this and about sharing this joy is the clear mind. I didn't talk about that earlier. I now feel much more clear minded. I think that's one of the huge benefits and something that we all want, right? We all need more of that. There's so much noise and input and things going on and to-do lists in our life. While swimming, whether it's cold water, but specifically cold water swimming or dunking or ice baths, really clears your mind. Um, helps you get back to that peace. So I think that's just one of the main benefits and something that most people would find as a, um, a motivation all on its own. So again, I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed these tips. If I think of anything else, I'll pop it in the bottom in the show notes. Um, do contact me, do share your stories. I love to hear about people getting into wild swimming. Some of the ladies that I've introduced to it are still doing it now years on. So just fabulous to share that joy. And it's something that Sean and I do together, something that we really, really love doing together. So it's a really nice partner activity as well to share something in nature. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling on now. I'm gonna go and get warm. So have a lovely day and I'll see you soon.